yeah, let's do this clip. I mean, my understanding is <laughs> that there is a um, there's a federal government and state governments in this country, and that the federal government, even all of those libertarians who think that income taxes are illegal because Kansas didn't have an actual quorum for its state legislature in 1916 when they voted on it or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. They all seem to agree that the Constitution says the federal government should be dealing with international trade. But let's play this clip. Joining me right now is the Attorney General of Texas, uh, that is A.G. Ken Paxton. A.G. Paxton, it's great to see you this morning. Thanks very much for being here. You know, the governor was explaining last night on Tucker why he is inspecting commercial trucks, uh, I guess in response to questions that the White House was saying that his moves to send migrants to Washington is affecting trade. Can you explain to us what's going on at the border? Well, good morning. Yes, this is genius by the governor. We basically have a tacit agreement between the Biden administration and the cartels. And the way it works is the cartels know they can transport humans and drugs across our border. And the Biden administration will pick up those people and move them around the country. It's a, it's, it's a tacit agreement. The cartels know the, the, know the deal and they're profiting greatly. The governor has figured out we can stop trade along the border, slow it down, and it will create pressure on Mexico and some of their governors to work out a deal to help us with border security. So he is doing what the administration won't do, which is protecting the citizens of Texas, protecting the citizens of this country from drugs and from human trafficking. So, so in other words, look, he's saying to Mexico, if this doesn't stop, we're going to slow down the trade because we're going to be inspecting all of these commercial trucks. Has it worked? Yeah, I think he's already got, as a result, I think he's already got agreements with at least one or two of the governors. And I think that you might see more of that as we go along. It's effective because you, you hit the, the Mexican government Pause and, and their pocketbook need... and everything. He, he has pop. agreements with one. And like uh, Griscom said earlier, that uh, that border crossing is like one city wide. And then that's like, as we know, Texas has a much larger border than that. Right. And then there's also the issue of it's illegal yeah, for the you Constitution. to be inhibiting um, international trade into this country. You're not allowed to do that. Like, if I mean, if I wanted to, I, I mean, I, I, I would imagine I'm not sure who has standing in this instance, if it's like the attorney general uh, representing the federal government. But it seems to me like that. Uh, that interview right there is going to provide, you know, two big pieces of, of testimony as to what the intentions and what the impact of this um, this move by the Texas government is doing. They're yeah, Merrick Garland seems to be like purely ceremonial in that role, though. I don't know if he's actually going to go after anybody. Does he actually go out and do any ceremonial things, though? Either I mean, is he even there? Do we know that he no. exists? I, I'm he's starting to suspect. He's I'm a starting to, of our imagination. Yeah, I'm starting to suspect the reason why they don't hold uh, hearings for his Supreme Court seat is because he only exists in our minds. Yeah, we're yeah. we're all Merrick Garland. This also bolsters that idea that was floating around for the uh, Canadian uh, trucker thing that the uh, right's interest in that was to f up the economy. <laughs> Um, yeah. Right. Like it's a very similar sort of pattern emerging from this. Well, David was saying they're anticipating that there's going to be like empty shelves and food shortages just starting over the weekend because of this of this like, you know, ridiculous stunt. And now uh, Abbott has to backtrack and go and make it seem like he's still the kingmaker, that he's like working with these governors in Mexico you know, you, uh, we'll allow trade now, but you have to agree we're going to be you're going to be tough on immigration. Right. Right. It's just an effort for him to save face because uh, he's violating. It's like Article one, but Section 10. That's what I read today, that you can't and no state can make a deal with a foreign power on trade. It's pretty clear. Um, has uh, the Supreme Court overturned Obergefell yet? Uh, or is that we waiting? We waiting another week or two before that happens. Uh, I think think it's still still pending.